This is the third video for improving accessibility of Word documents. Two topics today, inserted to objects and alt text. All inserted objects are either inline or floating. Visually, most sighted readers prefer floating images with text wrapped around the image in one way or another. However, floating images cause issues for screen readers. Three issues related to floating images are, some of the surrounding text might not be read by the screen reading program, the alt text cannot be found by the screen reading program. The correct reading order might not be achieved by assistive technologies when text wrapping is used, or the content may be read in a confusing manner. For example, there'd be a line of text, followed by a table row, followed by a line of text, etc. A good practice for improving the accessibility of inserted objects is to always place them in line. Don't worry about the aesthetics of how the page looks. Making it accessible trumps making it pretty. Before leaving this section, I'll demonstrate how to change the floating image to inline. I'm going to select the image, I'm going to go to the Format tab, and I'm going to choose the Position drop-down box, and then choose the top option for inline with text. The only other thing I'll do to clean this up is to put a space to make the text drop-down. So yes, that does not have wrapped text, but it's far more accessible to students using reading software. Alt text. Alternative text is required to provide a text-based means of representing the content or the function of objects that are included in a Word document. Alt text can be provided in various ways, but it is crucial that all images be represented in text format for students unable to see the images. All of the following image types should have alternative text. Photos, illustrations or clip art, images of text such as word clouds, inserted shapes, charts, smart art, and other embedded objects. Without alt text, a screen reader might give the student the file name or the image dimensions instead of a description. Some general alt text guidelines include, alt text should convey the purpose of including the graphic in 100 char 120 characters or less. Don't repeat the same information as contained in the surrounding text. Don't say that this is an object or an image. Avoid that redundancy. Leave the title field blank and use only the description field for alt text. Using both title and description is problematic if the doc is converted into a different format, such as a web page. During conversion, the two fields are often combined into one alt text field. Also, older versions of Word do not support the title field. In Word, it is not possible to indicate a decorative image with null alt text. Consider leaving them out to avoid distractions, since screen readers will not ignore a decorative image as they would in a web page. An alternative to alt text. Rather than using the alt text field, consider providing all the necessary information about the content or function of the image in the surrounding text. This has the advantage of being equally accessible to all and avoiding potential issues with the shorter length of alt text. You can also customize the quick access toolbar. If you need to frequently add alt text to images or other objects in Word, consider adding the alt text icon to the quick access toolbar at the top of the Word program. I'll end with a quick demo of adding alt text to an inserted smart object, smart art object. So I'm going to insert the object. I'm going to pick a fairly simple one like this. And so I now have this graphic in my Word doc. I can click on the outer line here. I'm going to do the alt text quick access item. Alt text is found here under format shape, text box, alt text. Here's the title and description. So I could give alt text to the overall image and I would give it descriptive alt text. And if needed, I could also give alt text to the separate images in here. So image one and image two. So there are, could actually be as many in this particular case as three alt text. One for the overall image, one for each individual component part of that image. So that is how you would add alt text to the um, object that was inserted. And that'll do it for this time. Thanks a lot.